to watch. Yeah, Welcome happy back. to be here. I just landed from L.A. Uh, if uh, Next week on our show, we're going to have a lot of great guests and Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, and Reggae Jean Page. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But Are you going to have any big stars? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe <laughs> Daniel Kaluuya, maybe Jordan <laughs> Peele, uh, maybe Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, Ana de Armas. Life. They are all, actually are all going to be on our show next week. Um, all right, so uh, this is a, Where the Crawdad th uh, Sings opens mm -hmm. up today. I want to get your review of it. Um, but So my full uh, experience of this film was new. Okay. I did not know it was coming. Um, so the ending, I thought, was it was shocking. I won't go into why. My only issue I had with the film was I thought the first act, I didn't think the younger performers were as strong as the uh, older performers, um, the younger mm -hmm. past versions of the mm -hmm. characters. That's really kind of where I'm at. You read the book. Where so, are you? Right. I read the book, and I actually, and we read the book when it first came out, my book club like read Three it, years right? ago, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So we went as a group to see it last night and one of the ladies in my group was like I almost didn't come tonight because I loved the book so much yeah. I didn't want this movie experience to ruin it she liked the movie what did you think right I also loved the, I, I liked the movie strongly Same. I won't say I loved it I liked the movie strongly if you read the book it is very true to the book yeah. I agree with you um, the young actors aren't as strong but right. but the older Daisy. ones oh my gosh the, it's cast well it's yeah. acted well and um, and I just love that it went along with everything that I thought this is what I will say to you I I appreciate that you were able to enjoy the movie without reading the book. I feel like you get so much more out of the movie if, if you, you read, read the, the book. book because they clearly can't put everything in the book in the movie. Right. But in the movie when certain things happen and they don't give you the full story. Yeah. If you read the book, you have the full story. Yeah. You have the backstory. So then it means that much more, yeah. right? Plus you go into the movie already really attached to these characters. Yeah. And then they come yeah. alive for you on the screen. So it's definitely worth seeing. All right, there's re reading the book, not reading the book. We both liked it out today. All right, so another series that's experience of this film was new. Okay. I did not know it was coming. Um, so the ending, I, th okay. I did not know it was coming. Um, so. Like some like publicity piece, she probably just brought it up randomly in an interview, mm -hmm. and it just kind of came out. I don't think right. this was like meant to be some massive story. I think it's a really sweet thing. I don't think it's thoughtful. So we'll say nice thing. Okay, well, we got to keep I'll going here. We're weird. wrapping up. It's a weird business. Oh, came out. I don't think right. this was like meant to be some massive story. Oh, well, we got to keep I'll going here. We're weird. wrapping up. It's a weird business. You know, I mean, you just didn't have it to catch. Where's our crowd? Exactly. That's a Tucker tries it next week. That's a good one. All right. Well, good day, DC, Maryland, Northern Virginia. Glad you're with us on this Friday, July 15th. Uh, nice having you on the couch, yes, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew. Normally I'm standing up. I get to kind of recline, relax a Look little bit. Look at you like laying this. back. Yeah, yeah, no, sit, up, sit up straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good to have you on. Let's it's get like, it. Don't put me on the couch you with my mother. It. Three inches of rain in just an hour's time. So like a month's worth of rain coming mm. down in 60 minutes. The other really impressive wow. thing, that cell, that storm cell was landlocked, meaning it was kind of stuck in the terrain. It just kept sitting there and raining. But they got 72% of a year's worth of lightning in just seven hours time showing you how prolific wow. that storm was and if you haven't been to the wharf lately well guess what you've been the emerging, the emerging, right? oh yeah, yeah. It, was, it was great i definitely it, it actually it's extended i think through the end of july so you still have time oh, nice yeah it's an experience for sure it is it is uh, all right 9 30 the emerging, the emerging, right? oh yeah, yeah. It, was, it was great i definitely it, it actually it's extended i think through the end of july so you still have time oh, nice yeah it's an experience for sure it is it is uh, all right 9 30 Many people learn, uh, this is my first question when I hear this, because there was a lot in that promo about illusionists. Maybe a future budding illusionist out there course, that absolutely. all of a sudden sees it and then learns. It's, and then, so at what point and, or how do you come up with your own? You know what I mean? There's not, you can't just like go to a canned encyclopedia right, or whatever right. and say, okay, I'm going to do this trick, this trick, this exactly. trick. Exactly. So as a young up in the middle of the night with an idea for a brand new illusion. Okay. How many of your illusions work out? How many don't? Well, when I invent an illusion, I try to think of I mean, um, you know, Sometimes it's usually out of the audience controls. Like we've had a few power failures during shows. Nothing we can do on that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not even usually the magic is enchanted. That's so true because when I think of Walt Disney, I'm mm -hmm. always like every child should get to experience the magic of Disney. And a lot Absolutely. of what they do is an illusion, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay, so enough talk. Let's get down to brass okay. tacks. What can We're you do, do for magic me? Here. We're going to do a little card trick together. Um, I amazing. Wow. That is amazing. Do you ever amaze yourself? Always. Every day. Every day. <laughs> well, this is. There you go. Don't miss out. Miss out. You miss a lot. All right, Aaron, over to you. I am just speechless. Wow. That was really cool. All right. Oh, there you go. Don't miss out. Miss out. You miss a lot. All right, Aaron, over to you. I am just speechless. Wow. That was really cool. 
All right. Oh, Friday for the yes. book. So yes. much fun. Good day, DC. It's 10 o'clock on the dot on this Friday, July 15th. Thank you so much for joining us. And while we are holding it down here in the studio, Kevin's back from LA. Honored to, to be see back. You. I just landed about two hours ago, so if I fall asleep on air, I'll don't nudge judge you. me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, help, me out, help me out there. Yeah, yeah. Dedication. <laughs> of course, our Zip Trip team, uh, they're hanging out at the wharf this morning down in. They just spoke with her for this uh, show called The Terminal List. Um, she was wonderful. We had her on the show, but she. I, I, I listen. I, I feel like social media. I've said this on the air no. before, mm -hmm. and then that one. Yeah. One it can really trigger any kind Just of you know one. underlying trauma that you right. have, right? Hundred percent. And I think too, it was smart of her, and I know a therapist encouraged her to do that too, is to remove social media, stay off of it. She was off of. But yeah, if you, it's try and stay off of it if you can. It's not great for your mind. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to lift everybody up yeah. a little bit yeah. on this next one. Take a listen. And on that day, because yeah. that's just yeah. what Beyonce does. I can't wait for her TikTok that includes her. I know, right? Right? Like, Are what we... would she do for her first right. TikTok that actually shows her? Yeah, yeah, I wonder what the choice was to do the first without her in it. Just to be unpredictable. Just, yeah. yeah. You know? And an ode to the fans, because they really, you know, support her, and she gets so much love, so she probably wanted to give some love back. It's true. Love it. Okay, and finally, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> love this Dating is, younger, older goes both ways. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, here's the thing. I mean, obviously, when you reach a certain age in your life, 10 years doesn't really become much of a difference. Is that 20? It's a big difference. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. But if you're 40 and 50, it's right. not. But even not. like 30, 20 might be a little weird. dicey. I would again, I'm like, right? Like, right. Or like 50, 40. But like, it is interesting. Yeah, the older you get, that 10 year gap becomes less emotional significant. Emotional maturity kind of evens out a Agreed. little bit. Exactly, but 30, 20 I'm, would be like a uh, little on the line. <laughs> right. I've learned definitely that, you know, people get older, they don't always grow up. That's and so point. in some cases, yeah. age is just a number. Oh, I'm still mm -hmm. 12. Trust, I, I am the most immature 30. Exactly. <laughs> right. But listen, I am older than my husband. You are? Really? How, can I ask how, how many, many years? years? I was his orientation person at Duke. Oh. I've been shown it's different, Holly. <laughs> I know, but it made for a really good yeah, story. Like, here's the build-up, though. That was really, <laughs> yeah, that was like, really good. You had my attention. I, pretty good storytelling. I yeah. really was his orientation person. That that's no lie. So I really was. His, yes. And I, I'm the first girl he met at Duke. That is, okay. that is a